So we are officially adding a new band to our list of bands named after cities and state states. We got Ohio, we got Chicago, we got Kansas, we got Boston, and today we got Alabama. The band name is Alabama. I'm so excited and ready to hear from Alabama. Now, I've never heard of this band. Um, so, you know we got to do some research real quick so I could find out. Because, again, y'all know I don't think this is a small thing. I think when you name your band after a city or state, that puts such a target on your back because you're essentially like, like, I don't know. I just, I, I don't think that's a small thing. I think that's a very big deal to name your band after a city or state. I, I just really do. So I can't wait to learn why they did it, how they did it, and where they're actually from. So I got the research pulled up. So, yep, this is it. Gotcha. Okay. So here we go. A country music band formed from formed in, excuse me, Fort Payne, Alabama in 1969. Founded by Randy Owen, lead vocals, rhythm guitar, and his cousin, Teddy Gentry, bass and backing vo vocals. Um, they were soon joined by another cousin, Jeff Cook, lead guitar, fiddle, and keyboards. First operating under the name Wild Country, the group toured the Southeast bar circuit in the early 1970s and began writing original songs. They changed their name to Alabama in 1977 and following the chart success of two singles were approached by RCA Records for a recording deal. Alabama's biggest success came in the 1980s when the band had over 27 number one hits, seven multi-platinum albums and received numerous awards. Wow, 27 number ones. I'm going to assume in country, like country music number ones? Or are they saying Billboard Hot 100 number ones? Because that's, that's insane. Can't be. Can't be. Got to be talking about country music number ones. The band's blend of traditional country music and southern rock combined with elements of bluegrass, folk, and pop music gave it a crossover appeal that helped lead to their success. Okay. Um, inducted into the uh, Musician Hall of Fame and Museum in 2019. Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum in 2005. The band is sold has over 41 number one country records and have sold over 75 million records. Making them the most um, the most successful band in country music history. Oh wow, uh, so yeah, they're legends. They're legends. It's not it's like it's no it's nothing to even like dispute. They're legends. Specifically country music legend, legends, but Legends in general. So I'm excited to hear this. This is Feel So Right. Um, and it's the official music video. So I'm really excited to hear this and learn about them as a group. Um, Feel So Right. I, I can only imagine what this song is about. But I'm excited to hear it and see it. So again, added to our list of bands named after cities and states. Alabama, the latest edition. Let's see what they got. Whisper to me softly Three words upon my skin No one's near and listening so please don't say goodbye Just hold me close and love me Press your lips to mine Feel so right Beautiful. 
first verse, back and vocals. So this is, y'all yeah, know I, I'm I'm so terrible with names. Give me one second. Hold on. This is Lee Lee singer Lee singer. This is Randy. That was Randy, Teddy, and Jeff. I know. I I think I saw that. Did I see that Jeff left? Cause Jeff is down here in past members. So at some point Jeff leaves. But for certain that's Randy, lead singer. Gotcha. Okay. Love Randy's voice. And when everybody came in and at, came in and sung in unison, that was beautiful. Everything about this, I'm loving it so far. Lying here beside you. I hear the echoes of your sighs Promise me you'll stay with me And keep me warm tonight So hold me close and love me Give my heart a smile country song I think I've ever heard it definitely is definitely not just country it definitely blends like they said pop um, obviously not this song per se but um, I could tell I, I'm almost certain the other songs have like a southern rock feel to it but and this is my first time seeing a, a double guitar a double neck guitar since was it since Zeppelin? I feel like I saw one in Chicago video. It's been a long time since I seen a double neck guitar. Um but yeah, this is beautiful. Led by Randy. Randy's vocals are just perfect. And when they sing together on the Feels so right. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Um. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I was expecting this. And I love every second of it. so Something for the ladies at the end. Feels so right, baby. I thought he was about to get a little Barry White going real quick. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. That was beautiful. Feels so right. That was beautiful. I enjoyed that. 
I really enjoyed that. Let's see if we can find some some research real quick. Yeah, I don't really know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. But it was better than what I expected. Um, it was written by Randy. Released May nineteen uh, eighty one. Second single and track and title track from the band's Feel So Right album. It was the group's fourth straight number one on the country singles chart. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if this was in the high 100. A mellow love song with sensuous and somewhat explicit lyrics and a strong country pop styling. Feel So Right was also Alabama's first crossover hit. Okay. Performing modestly well on CHR. I'm, I'm assuming that's country something. In top 40 radio stations, the song peaked at number 20 on the Billboard Hot 100 in the summer of 1981. That's impressive. The pop love ballad style evident on Feel So Right along with the country rock style of it, of its other songs became the cornerstone of Alabama's sound throughout the 1980s and 90s. Today it remains one of Alabama's most popular songs. It went gold. It went gold in the States. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, RCA Nashville. I really enjoyed it. That was, I mean, again, Randy's voice... And um, it's incredible that he wrote it as well. But Randy's voice is very rich, as are a lot of country music. You know, I, I recently reacted to Tim McGraw. I love his voice. Don't get me started on Chris Stapleton. Um, you know, my country music history is not that profound. But Brooks and Dunn, um, you know, love, you know, I love their voices. Um just a very, very impressive love ballad that you know again because of the the because of his voice. If it wasn't for his voice, it probably wouldn't have been classified as country. Like it was, it was so perfect of a ballad that again, if it wasn't for Randy's voice, his you know his southern accent. You probably wouldn't have classified it as country. It, it was that beautiful. It was that soothing. Um, not to say country music isn't soothing, because it is. Most country music that I've listened to is very soothing. Um, probably one of the more soothing genres there are. But um, there is, excuse me. But I really enjoyed that, man. And I'm, I'm so excited to hear and learn more about Alabama. So... Y'all let me know what else from Alabama I need to check out, man. And I definitely will. I enjoyed this. I really, really did. Um, but, and, and probably one of my favorite... Again, I don't even classify this country. But probably one of my favorite country songs that I've heard so far. By far. Like, I really enjoyed this. So y'all let me know what else from Alabama I need to check out, alright? And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time.